Lord bless us. Praise God. At this time, Sister Morgan. Sister Morgan, are you there? Are you hearing me, brother? Loud and clear, sis. Praise God. Praise God. Seems like the video not working so well. Praise the Lord, Virgin. Hallelujah. I just want to give God thanks for this opportunity to bring his word to, to his people this morning. At this time, I want to greet our bishop, our diocesan bishop, wife, and all God ministers in servants on the line. I greet you, all the ministers. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and all my brethren. I've not seen you in a long while. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And at this time, you know I'm not a long preacher and I'm not a preacher. I just want to encourage you in the word of God. So at this time, we're gonna turn our Bibles to, to James chapter five. Praise the Lord, I found it. James chapter five. And we'll be reading from, we'll be reading two verses of from James chapter five. Are you hearing my brethren? Clear? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God, praise God. So we are gonna read from verse, James chapter five, verse 14 and 15, just two verses. And I stand for the reading of the word of the Lord. Let us read together. If anyone among you sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you know, today I, this morning, I actually read this verse of scripture in my devotion. And after I read, Brother Shirley asked me if I could bring the word and I tell him yes. So I just want to encourage you from these two verses of scripture this morning, because I know that the Lord is in control, hallelujah. And even though it's a brotherhood Sunday, um, I am just a vessel and this is the word of the Lord. And the Lord can use anybody, anything, donkey, drunkard, anything he can use to feed his, he used a drunkard to feed Elijah in the wilderness. And he also used a donkey to talk to Balaam. And he also used a cock to crow to talk to Peter. So today, don't look at the vessel, just look at the word of God, because the word of God, it is powerful and it is effective. Hallelujah. He said, it, it, another scripture said, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. So the word of God is able to cut to the piercing of the soul. So don't look at the vessel this morning. Just look at the, at the word of God and at the power of God, the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Spirit is in our midst today and he's here to bless. Hallelujah. And today, if there is anyone with a specific need, I don't, I don't matter what, it's, what the needs are, what it seems, how difficult it is. Um, you know, last week, Sunday, I was so sick, but God would have evangelist, um, Brother Shirley to speak. And because at that time, brethren, I received my, hope, my healing Sunday night because from the word of God. So I am saying to you today, if you are sick, hear James ask the question. James said, is any among you sick? Praise the Lord. And we know in Jamaica now and, and the world, wider world, there is a virus out and we see what has been happening. And I'm telling, I'm encouraging you today not to be afraid of what is happening because we have a God 
that can touch with it, well, that is touched with the feeling of our infirmities. And because we have a God today, James is asking the question, God, James said, is any among you sick? And he said, we are to call, let us pray. And so we are to call for the elders of the church. So he sent us to a specific person. He said, call for the elders of the church. Because you know why James said, saying, saying to these saints, to these believers, to call for the elders. Sometimes we, and our, by ourselves, don't have the faith, you know, to pray. And we are so sick that we cannot pray. We cannot even think. But God sent, here the, the, James is saying to us that, go to the elders of the church and let him pray over you. Let him pray over you. And the prayer of faith, because there's a, that the elders in those days, they are already gone to have the experience. They have the experience and know the power of God. So that means they had confidence in God, knowing that God can heal. So that's why James is pointing us to go to the elders of the church or to the believers to go to the elders of the church. And the elders of the church now is going to anoint you with oil. So the anointing oil here, Virgin, for the believers is like a form of medication then. You know, you go to the physical doctor and the doctor would prescribe a prescription and give you. And, um, and whatever the doctor give you, you will go to the pharmacy and buy it and take it. And then you will feel better. But here James is pointing you now because sometimes we are in a situation where we cannot reach the hospital. And if you look what is happening across the world now, the, pop, the hospital are over, being overloaded. And nurses are fleeing, nurse not turning up at, on the job. And the doctor, they are overwhelmed with the sickness and everything, accident and everything that is happening. So therefore, we need another solution. And here, James is pointing us to the Lord, Virgin. He's saying to us, we are to go to the Lord, the Lord, the Lord here is able to heal us. And if you look in the Bible, I think it's in St. Matthew, it is somewhere in St. Matthew chapter nine, the woman, there was a woman and there is no attachment to her name. The Bible just say a woman with an issue. And this woman, she went to the doctors. She spent out all that she have, but the doctors could not help her. And so she turned to the Lord. As our bishop always tell us, Virgin, we are not to wait to try everything. And then when everything fail, we try the Lord. It's not so we must do it. We must seek he first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto us. But even then this lady, she was sick. She have an issue and the doctor could not help her. But the Bible said that she made up in her mind. She said, if I could but just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And that lady, even though it wasn't customary for she to get up and to go in the public because she have an issue and she then declare her unclean, similar to the coronavirus now, we have to cover our mouth and all of these things before we can go in public places. So, and this, the Bible said that she went and she, she said, if I could but touch, touch, she made it up in her mind, Bridget. Some of you here on the line that are in the hearing of my voice, you just need a made up mind to say, if I could just touch, if I could just get a word from the Lord, then I will be made whole. My situation, my circumstances will be healed. Hallelujah. Because when we look at this, this lady was losing life. I don't know how she lost so long for 12 years. But the Lord will have it that she don't die. Virgin, what I'm saying to you, your situation that you are facing today, and I don't know who I'm speaking to that is on this line, your situation, you can be cured. You can be healed, what it, whatever it is, whether it be cancer, whatever uncurable disease or sickness you have in your body today, it can be healed because just as in St. Matthew chapter 9, the, the Bible said the lady have an issue. The doctor was unable to heal her. But God said, daughter, God was able to heal her. The God said, daughter. And if you look at this, you know, is the lady faith, you know, for God said, your faith has made you whole. 
So probably you're at home and you're sick and you say, I can't get to the hospital, I can't get to a doctor. But turn up your eyes to heaven and call upon the name of Jesus. The Lord is in the hearing of your voice this morning. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but God is in the hearing of your voice this morning. You know, Dave is in Psalms 30. He said, oh, Lord, my God. He said he cried unto him. Um, Psalms 30, verse 2. David said, I cry unto the Lord, and he heard me. He healed me. David said, the Lord heal him from whatever sickness he did have. Verse, he goes on in verse 3, he said, oh Lord, thou hast brought me up my soul. Your soul is cast down. You are discouraged, yes. You feel weak. You feel like you can't bother. You feel like giving up. But don't give up. Because God is able to restore your soul. God is a restorer of your soul. Hallelujah. And despite what they said, despite what the doctor said, despite what is happening, God can restore you whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. David said he brought up my soul from the grave. Hallelujah. From the pit or from the grave. Whatever situation that you are going through this morning that seems to want to kill you, you shall not die but live. And you shall declare the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You shall live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 15 said, and the prayer of faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prayer of faith. Hallelujah. It's very important that you have faith. Hallelujah. Have faith. Have courage. Take courage. Hallelujah. This morning, because you shall be made whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the Lord is going to help you. Help is on the way for you. Hallelujah. He said the prayer of faith will, it will save the sick. Hallelujah, it will. The, 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 um, James was, was assuring the brethren that the prayer of faith is very important because these persons, these ministers, hallelujah, we'd already gone through experience Experience, brethren, God take you through one battle before, and God is going to take you through this battle that you are going through now. Hallelujah. There's so much, there's so much experienced person that is on this line this morning, so much person with their testimony that can say of a true God is able. Last week, I was so sick with an ear infection, brethren. My feet, I could not let go my jaw after keep holding my jaw, and I was praying, and I said, Lord, there's not a doctor down here that I know. I will have to go into town because I don't know any ear doctor. And me say, Lord, what is happening? No, I don't really want to go here, God. So I'm believing you for a miracle. And Sunday night, while it was dear pain rocking my body, I held on to my jaw as Brother Shirley was preaching, bridging, and I hold on to. And, and, and when Brother Shirley said, believe God for your healing, Bridget, I believe God and I tell you, I was made whole. Today, my ears, the pain, everything is gone from in the week. I don't even remember sometimes that I, ha I, I did have an ear infection and the pain. But Bridget, I'm telling you today, God is able, hallelujah. He will raise you up. He will heal you from whatever sickness you are having, hallelujah. And the Lord will raise him up. And if, even if he has committed sin, Bridget, this is the best part. Even if he's, he had committed sin, he shall, he will be forgiven. You shall be forgiven, that's the word of the Lord. Whatever the sickness are, even if you had committed sin, and I'm not condoning sin, but the Bible, the power of God and the power of the anointing is able, it is efficacious enough to heal you, not just from the sickness that you're having, but even if you had committed sin, whatever sin condition you're going through this morning, God is able to heal you completely. Hallelujah. And when God heals your brethren, there's no chate. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. There's no chate left back in your body. God heal you completely. 
complete healing. God is on the line this morning. Hallelujah to God. Complete healing is here this morning for somebody. Hallelujah. Believe God this morning and you shall be healed. Hallelujah. 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 I don't matter this time as our evangelist sing out on the ocean. Hallelujah. It seems as if you can't make it this morning. But God, the anchor hold this morning. We are sure, hallelujah, no matter how this ship is wagging this morning, the anchor hold. Virgin, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. The anchor hold this morning. And because of the anchor hold, Virgin, you can rest assured that you're healing. You're probably still feeling the pain because Sunday night after Brother Shirley preached the word, I feel some pain. But on Monday, Virgin, I, Monday morning when I get up, I did not feel any pain. Hallelujah. Your darkest time of the night is just before dawn. Hallelujah. You shall be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I just want to end you this morning. I just want to end this morning with Jeremiah 17, 14. This morning, Jeremiah said, oh, Lord, heal me and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved. For there's a saving power on this line this morning. And there's a healing power. Claim it, Virgin. Claim your healing in Jesus' name this morning. You shall, hallelujah. You shall be healed. You shall be restored, hallelujah. You shall, hallelujah. You shall, whatever it is this morning, you shall, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. Whatever it is, whatever circumstances, whatever situation, I don't care what the doctor said this morning. I don't care how it looked this morning. You shall be healed. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Indeed, we are glad for the words that we have heard. Hallelujah, from the preacher today. Hallelujah, you shall be healed. And the prayer of, the, of faith, even if the person has committed sin, the Bible says, the person shall be forgiven. And that is the word of God. We want to trust in the word that we have heard today, hallelujah. And do not allow them to slip by. Claim your healing, whether it is physical or spiritual healing that you need. Hold on to the word and trust in God because it is going to be so. Not one word went out of his mouth that has not been fulfilled. Hallelujah. And we have heard these words are words, not just Morgan's words, they are words from the Bible, the anointed words of God. Hallelujah. If anybody would like prayer, you can just hold up your hand and just put it in the chat. And we are going to be singing, be not dismayed, what ear be tied. God will take care of you. Hallelujah, we have a God who is caring. We have a God who loves us. Hallelujah, we have a God who cares about every aspect of our life and wants us to be healed, to be delivered, to have full joy. Hallelujah. Let us begin. Be not dismayed, what is God will take care of you. Beneath his wing of love, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will 
take care of her. God will take care of you. No matter what may be the test, God will take care of you. Lean we want upon his breath. God will take care of that we hold hand virtually, hallelujah, as we pray. God, we take care of you every day for all the way he will Take care of you. God will take care of you. Let us pray. Eternal God, the creator of the end of the earth, the one who put on flesh, and went to Calvary for us. Oh God, for the healing of the nation. Oh God, for the forgiveness of sin. Oh Father, we thank you for the privilege to be gathered in this virtual manner. Oh God, this day. Lord, we thank you for the songs that have been sung, for the testimonies. But most of all, we thank you for your word that went forth. Oh God, encouraging us that if anybody is in need of healing, oh God, if anyone has sickness, oh God, should come call upon the minister, hallelujah, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, shall heal the sick. And if we have even for, uh, committed sin, they shall be forgiven. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence that has been with us throughout this service. Oh God, and as we shall separate one from another, we pray that you bless those who are sick. Lord, liberate them from the illnesses. Allah Mashaya. Oh God, and send them on their way rejoicing. Those who have spiritual sickness, I pray, Lord, that they be healed by the power of your word, the power of your blood. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank you for Sister Morgan who has ministered your word. I pray, Lord, 
that you continue to anoint, oh God, to minister your word. I pray for the moderator, the first of Brother Harrington, that you continue to direct him to anoint, even for tonight's service. Thank you for all the blessings that you have received at your hand, oh God, and for those that you have in store for us. Oh God, as we shall close this service, I pray that you go with us. Keep us from all evils and help us to be conquerors in our personal life. Oh God, in all situations that face us. Thank you for hearing us. For we have his mercy in your great name. Amen and amen.